السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعزائي الطلاب I'm back again We want to continue with uh, our uh, second part regarding syntax and now we are swiftly moving on to sentence structures um, in fact we have four types of English sentence uh, the sim simple sentence compound sentence complex sentence and compound complex sentence so as um, you have studied in uh, grammar 2 and writing 2 the structure of the sentence becomes uh, complicated. I mean, the more we add clauses, the more the sentence becomes complicated and so on. So we will begin with a simple sentence. So what is a simple sentence? Um, from the word symbol. I would say Ahmad is a simple man. It means that he doesn't have any complexity. It is easy to understand him. It is easy to understand. It is easy to understand his personality, his character, and so on. So a simple sentence um, contains one subject and one verb, at least one verb. It has a complete meaning. It has a complete thought. So a declarative sentence is a simple sentence, as you see. So it has one independent clause. When say independent that it has a complete meaning, a complete thought on itself. Uh, so what is an independent clause? It's um, one subject followed by one verb or verb phrase. It expresses a single idea. I mean, as you recall in the previous lecture, in the previous meeting, we said that a sentence necessarily has a noun phrase and a verb phrase. If I say it's raining, so it is a noun phrase and is raining is a verb phrase. It's raining heavily, so heavily is an adverb phrase, but that not obligatory, that is an optional element or optional modifier. Uh, we have examples of uh, simple sentences. I am very happy. I am happy. He is Sammy. I am Sarah. I'm in school. I will meet John. Uh, okay, number two, Robert doesn't eat meat. If you see, here, okay, Robert doesn't eat meat. Look at the verb, doesn't eat. The verb eat, that is a transitive verb, which means it must take or have an object. So meat is an object of the sentence meat. Uh, but uh, try to consider uh, sentence number one. We have noun phrase, that is the subject, and we have am, that is the verb phrase, and that is a linking verb. And happy is an adjective phrase functioning as a complement of subject. So we are going to talk about complements, inshallah. And number three, my brother and I went to the mall last night. So my brother and I went to the mall last night. Uh, my brother and I is the subject of the sentence. Uh, and went is the verb. And to the mall is a um, phrase functioning as an object, and last night is another noun phrase functioning as an adverb. Don't forget this. Uh, this a new laptop computer has already crashed twice. So this is a simple sentence because we have one subject. We have one subject. Uh, this, a new, uh, this a new laptop. This a new laptop, this is a noun phrase, we have this is a demonstrative, and you is an adjective, laptop is the head, is the head, so it carries the whole meaning, a computer, laptop computer, this laptop computer has already crashed twice, so has already crashed is once again the verb phrase, and twice is adverb. Uh, example number five, uh, I'm going to meet my friend, see this, I is the noun phrase functioning as a subject. I'm going to. I'm going to meet. So this is the verb phrase. As you see, the verb phrase here consists of auxiliary one and going to as another auxiliary and it is a model referring to the future and we have the lexical verb or the content word here, meet. Meet. My friend is a noun phrase functioning as an object. Jack is a positive in Arabic means il badal. In his office is a prepositional phrase. This is a prepositional phrase functioning as adverb. I mean adverb of a place. In Gaza is another is another 
import is uh, another a brief phrase functioning as uh, once again adverbal or adverb of, of a place and at 8 o'clock this is another brief phrase but it doesn't make the sentence complex it doesn't make the sentence compound at 8 30 this is another brief phrase functioning as a verb of time am this morning so this morning is a noun phrase functioning as adverb of time Notice that a simple sentence is not necessarily short. Okay? You can say, I'm going to meet my friend Jack Ahmed in his office in Gaza, uh, main branch, at 8 o'clock this morning. Right? So you can add other elements, but not single verbs. Uh, notice that a simple sentence isn't necessarily short. The subject can be a single word like, I or Robert, Ahmed, the dog, the lion, or it can be a double subject like my brother and I, my sister and I, or you can say Sami Ahmed along with everybody wants to go to Gaza tomorrow morning, right? You can say Hala Safi along with everyone else, along with everybody else, want or once, once to visit the new director in her office at 8 o'clock this morning, you can see, at university, at university. Okay, or it can be multiple words describing a single person, object like this new laptop computer, this angry, tall, Japanese uh, t uh, tourist wants to talk to the manager in this tourist company, and so on. Uh, now we move to the point um, number two, or to point number two, a compound sentence. What is a compound sentence? If you recall, we said a simple sentence must contain a subject and a verb, and it must have a single idea. So it must have a complete meaning. It can stand alone. It can express, uh, I mean, can express all meaning, a single idea. Mm, so compound sentence, consists of two simple sentences. But we link them, we join them by a means of coordinator, like and, but, so. And, but, so, okay? Uh, or yet. A compound sentence has two independent clauses. An independent clause is a clause that has a complete meaning, that expresses a single idea joined by a linking word, or we call this coordinator connector, I mean a word that links. Uh, what are they? And, but, or, so, yet, existing in a word called the uh, fans boy. Each independent clause could be a sentence by itself, uh, but we um, connect them with a linking word. Um, and, and it is easy to join two simple sentences with, using not a comma, a semicolon. I would say Ahmed studied very hard, semicolon, he passed his exam. Ahmed studied very hard, so he passed his exam. Ahmed felt very happy and he went swimming. Uh, Sami was watching television at 8 o'clock and I was cooking dinner. Okay, so this is a compound sentence. We just join them together using and. Uh, Samia mm, is very rich, but she doesn't enjoy life. So here we have the linking word. The linking word is but, is but. I would say Sami comes from a rich family, but he doesn't enjoy life. If you want to make it complex, you have to use although. Although Sami comes from a wealthy family, comma, he doesn't enjoy life, and so on. Let's read the example together. I am happy, but my kids are always complaining. Robert doesn't eat meat, so Barbara made a special vegetarian dish for him. So we have the linking with the linking device that is so. My brother and I, so we have my brother and I went to the mall last night. My brother and I went to the mall last night, but we didn't buy anything. So we have the linking word. <coughs> uh, this new laptop computer has already crashed twice. 
and I have no idea why. So I want to buy a new one. So I'm getting really angry. Sami did not go to Gaza, neither did Ahmed. I mean, neither did Ahmed. Uh, this is the other part. This is the other sentence. So the linking word is neither. Uh, okay. Shaza had won the race, so the school awarded her a gold medal. She was given a gold medal because she had won the race. So when, when I use because, it becomes a complex sentence. Because this is a subordinator, not coordinator. So once again, so is a coordinator conjunction. It's a linking device. It links two simple sentences together, or it links two main clauses together. Um, I may ask this question, what's the difference between a coordinating conjunction and, co and subordinated conjunction, like when I say so and because? Uh, so is a coordinated conjunction linking two sentences having equal importance. So, here the two sentences have two equal, two equal importance. They are, I mean, both are equal important. But when we think about a complex sentence, when we join an independent clause, an independent clause, one sentence that is the independent clause is more important than the other. That's why we use because to link two clauses uh, which don't have, which don't have, um, I mean, the same importance. So once again, they don't have the same importance. They are not equally important. Note that each sentence has two subjects and two verb phrases, and they are two single sentences with two single ideas. Uh, now, okay, we move to complex sentence. What is a complex sentence? When we think about a complex sentence, we have to think about two clauses, not two many clauses. I'm saying two clauses. One is the subordinated clause, and one is the dependent clause. You have to be very careful about this. I would say, remember, Sarah comes from a rich family, but she doesn't enjoy life but she doesn't enjoy life. So both sentences here are important. They have equal importance. I want now to use because. When I use because, the sentence becomes complex. So I want to use although. Although Sarah comes from a rich family, comma, she doesn't enjoy life. So the clause with the subordinating conjunction, although, is not as important as the main clause. Although she comes from a wealthy family, comma, Sarah doesn't enjoy life. So Sarah doesn't enjoy life is the main clause, is the independent clause, and it carries the whole meaning. It is much more important than the first clause, okay? Which is dependent clause. We call it in Arabic, al-jumla tab'a, allati la tahmil ma'na tam. Okay. Uh, as you see, a complex sentence has one independent clause and one or more dependent clauses. A dependent clause can't be a complete sentence by itself. I'm happy even though I don't make much money. So I'm happy is the focal point, is the focus here. Robert, a friend I have known since high school, doesn't eat meat. Robert, a friend. I have known since high school, I mean since he was in high school, doesn't eat meat. I would have to say, Robert, who is a friend that I have known since high school? So we have, Robert doesn't eat meat. I mean, Robert who is? So who is a friend I have known since high school is the subordinate clause is the dependent clause, and Robert, uh, okay, doesn't eat meat. Is the main clause, because it carries the whole meaning. Once again, we have two, cl two clauses um, that don't have uh, the same importance or the equal importance. They are, I mean, they are not equally important. Uh, three, I don't know the man 
who visited us last night. So I don't know the man. What kind of man? Who's the man who visited us? So who visited us is another clause embedded in the main clause. I don't know the man. After getting home from work, we have comma, because this is the subordinate clause al jumla tabia. My brother and I went to the mall last night. I try just to listen carefully how I am reading the sentence. After getting home from work, my brother and I went to the mall last night. So I have to raise my voice when I am reading the independent clause. So the listener will get to the point that I am focusing on it. Uh, this is a new laptop computer, uh, which I bought yesterday, has already crashed twice. So this a new this a new laptop computer has already crashed twice. So which I bought, which I bought yesterday, is the dependent clause. Uh, okay, the question is why is it a complex sentence? It is a complex sentence because, uh, okay, there are two subjects. This a new laptop computer, and then okay, which. Which is the subject of the adjectival or the subordinate clause, which I bought. Number six, while working in my office. While I was working in my office, I had a bad headache. I had a bad headache. Working in my office, I had a bad headache. Okay? I worked long hours in my office. That's why I had a terrible headache. I had a terrible headache because I had worked long hours in my office. I didn't sleep well last night. That's why I had a terrible headache. I had a terrible headache because I didn't sleep well last night. So in either case, this is a complex sentence. Uh, once completed, the house will look nicer. You look here at once completed. This is a reduced adverbial clause. This is a reduced clause because it doesn't have the subject, nor the auxiliary verb. So once the house is completed, it will look nicer. So the house will look nicer. So you have to get to the point that it is acceptable to reduce a clauses mainly I mean, independent clauses. Sorry, I mean, dependent clauses. So once again, dependent clauses can be reduced as long as it retains or gets its meaning in the independent clause or in the main clause, as, as you see. I would say after built, the house looked very nice. I mean, after the house was built, it looked very nice. You can say, okay, while working in my office, this is a reduced adverbial clause. This is a reduced clause, jumla muqtazala. But you can't reduce the many clause. While working in office, I had a bad headache. I had a bad headache while working in my office, etc. Now, we will move to the last point. That is compound complex sentence. As you recall, when I said at the beginning, um, syntactic rules allows us to complicate the sentence as much as grammar allows us to do so. So, and this depends on our semantic knowledge or linguistic competence, which equals our deep knowledge or surface knowledge of language. Um, what is a compound sentence? A compound complex sentence. So, it must have coordinated conjunction, I mean, a connector, like and, so, but, and it must contain a subordinated conjunction like because, although, when, after, when, as soon as, until, and so on. Let's read the sentences together, I mean the examples. Uh, I'm happy, even though I don't make much money, but my kids are always complaining, since we can't afford to buy the newest toys. Uh, let's analyze the sentence, I'm happy. It is a simple sentence uh, with a single idea. It expresses a whole meaning. Um, even though I don't make much money, this is a subordinated clause because we have the linking word. Even though. So we have the linking word, the linking divide. This is a subordinated conjunction, even though or although. 
I don't know much, I don't make much money. But this is, but this is a coordinated conjunction. But my kids are always complaining. I'm happy, but, but my kids are always complaining. That is a compound sentence. But when we add this clause, which is a subordinated clause, it makes it, it, makes it compound complex sentence. Okay, since we can't afford since, since is another linking word. Since we can't afford to buy the newest toys or because we can't afford to buy the newest toys or as long as we can't afford to buy the newest toys. As you see, this is a compound complex sentence. So we have a subordinating conjunction and we have coordinated conjunction. We will explain this. Independent clause. I'm happy. And my kids are always complaining. Dependent clauses. Mm, even though I don't make much money. I don't make much money. And since we can't afford to buy the newest toys. So we have linking where but. But and but is a coordinated conjunction. Don't forget this. So just I'm trying to remind you that we use the coordinated conjunction like and and but and so to link two clauses having equal importance. Um, Robert, a friend, I mean, who's a friend, a friend of mine, uh, I mean, who I have known, I have known since high school, doesn't eat meat. I mean, Robert, Robert, if you see, Robert doesn't eat meat. So Barbara made a special vegetarian dish for him. Okay, that's very clear. So Robert, a friend, that is the subject, um, who I have known since high school. So it's deleted because the meaning is understood, it's implied, um, doesn't eat meat. So that is a subordinated clause I have known since high school. So that is, here we have who, or that, it's, it's, it's deleted because it describes the object. So is a linking device, and that is a coordinated conjunction. Independent clauses, Robert doesn't eat meat. Um, Barbara made a special vegetarian dish for him. Dependent clause, a friend I have known. Okay, you is a friend that I have known since high school. So a friend, Robert, who is a friend that I have known, etc. So a linking word, okay, so coordinated conjunction. Compound complex sentence once again, after getting home from work, I mean after my brother got home from work, my brother and I went to the mall last night. So this is reduced, okay, close, which means that after my brother and I had got home from work. Uh, we use that gerund form after getting home from work. We have a comma. Uh, that is the subordinated clause. It doesn't carry, uh, I mean, the meaning. Uh, my brother and I, my brother and I went to the mall last night. While my sister stayed home and studied, while is a contrastive connector that is a subordinating conjunction. While. Why? Don't forget, uh, don't forget this. So, my brother and I went to the mall last night. This is a simple sentence, a complete, with a complete idea. It has a complete thought, okay? And while my sister stayed home and studied, this is a dependent clause, okay? Uh, and nobody seems to be interested in Sarah, although her parents are wealthy, and, see, and she is beautiful. But this fact seems not to bother her at all. But this fact seems not to, not to bother her at all. Uh, five, um, despite the fact that Sarah, despite, uh, despite the fact that Sarah comes from a rich family, nobody's interested in her, but this seems not to bother her. As you see here we have, although, although her parents are wealthy, 
So this is a subordinate clause, but nobody seems to be interested in Sarah. This is a mini clause, and it carries uh, meaning. It carries uh, a full meaning, a whole meaning. Uh, but this fact, so this is a linking device, a linking word, as you see. Uh, this new laptop computer, which I bought yesterday, has already crashed twice. However, I have no idea why. I have no idea why. However, I have no idea why. So this a new laptop computer, uh, which I bought yesterday, which I bought is a subordinating clause that is adjective or a relative clause that does, doesn't carry the whole meaning. Uh, but this new laptop the computer has it crashed twice. However, I have no idea why. So independent clause, this new laptop computer has already crashed twice. As you see, we insert the relative clause or the dependent clause uh, between the parts of the main clause. So because this describes the subject, the new laptop computer which I bought. And I have no idea why. And I have uh, no idea why. So you can say this new laptop computer has already crashed twice. And I have no idea why. So it becomes a compound sentence. But when we add, uh, OK, when we add however, it becomes compound complex sentence. OK, the linking word is however. So the which, which, which. Um, OK, dear students. Don't hesitate to ask any more questions using Moodle or when we meet, uh, inshallah, on Google Meet. Uh, on Saturday, I mean after tomorrow, don't hesitate to ask any questions, please. Uh, this is the end of our slides, the end of our meeting, and thank you very much. Thank you indeed for joining me. So once again, I'm urging you to get ready for asking any questions. Thank you so much.